Hello friends, in this video we will talk about epistosis. What is epistosis? So let's understand this term with an example. For example, this is a chromosome and on this chromosome there is a gene for example capital A and small a and on another chromosome and there is a gene that is B or it may be present at the different locus of same chromosome it may be present at this locus when this gene that is present on another chromosome or at the different locus of same chromosome expresses this gene or this gene then it will be called epistasis. So, this gene that expresses gene A here expresses gene B. So, here gene A will be called epistatic because it expresses this gene. And the suppressor gene that is B gene, gene that is suppressed will be called hypostatic. So, when a gene that is present on a different chromosome suppresses another gene, then this, this will be called epistasis. So, here gene A suppresses gene B that is present on different chromosome or gene A expresses gene B that is present at the different locus of the same chromosome. So, both of these will be called epistasis. So, here epistasis is of two types. Dominant epistasis and recessive epistasis. So, when this gene, suppose it is a dominant gene and here it is a dominant allele and this is a recessive allele. So, this dominant allele when presses this gene then it will be called dominant epistasis when it is present in recessive form small a small a and this when this allele that is recessive allele expresses the another gene that is B then it will be called recessive epistasis. So, when here in this case when this allele that is dominant expresses B gene this type of hypostasis is will be called dominant epistasis. But when this allele that is recessive allele expresses this gene, then it will be called recessive epistasis.